It's him. Was I clubbing with my baby father yesterday? Yes. Did I got dicked down yesterday? Absolutely, baby. I'm not going to put my... Y'all can use your rose on New Year's Eve. I need some dick for New Year's Eve. I feel like we was vibing yesterday. We had a good time. We was henny down. All right, in other news, we have Cardi B. She's letting the world know, hey, I had sex with my own husband. Let's give a round of applause for Cardi B. Yes, Cardi B is a habitual information giver that we didn't need to know. Yep, we did not need to know anything about that, but I get it. She had a show in Miami where she brought in the new year and Offset was there with the crew. So people were already saying, hey, you just cursed us out for saying, did, did I said that? Did I hurt that? When people were asking, hey, are you back with Offset when y'all was together for Christmas? I think everybody knew that you were overreacting with this whole situation when he was in Miami for his birthday. Y'all know how it is, man. Women don't want you to have fun without them. She actually announced to the world that she was single. So basically, she puts out her business, curses you out for being right, and then she does exactly what you guys said. So congratulations to Cardi and Offset for working out their marriage. Now, in other news in hip hop, Kevin Gates got on Instagram live with Finesse two times and automatically it looked weird. Things happening. We like, what is going on? Kevin Gates said, I got a question for you. Can you put my feet up in the air? I love you. You love me? I love I, you too, bro. You know, yeah, that. I got a question. Talk to me. You have a favor. Hey, you'll do me a favor if you do. Talk to you. Me. Put my feet in the air, please. Put your feet. If I felt like something was wrong with you, I would. I love you. You love me. I love I, you too, bro. You know hey, that. I got a question. Talk to me. You have a yeah. favor? Hey, you'll do me a favor if you do. Talk to you. me. Put my feet in there, please. Put your feet. If I felt like something was wrong with you, I would. Now, look, I don't know what the hell Kevin Gates meant by that, but it sounds very zesty, and he is a person that is very zesty, very over-sexual, hyper-sexualized man. Uh, and I will say this is no shot at Louisiana because I'm an Atlanta nigga myself, and you know the reputation about people in Atlanta. They say that there are a lot of down-low brothers, but Louisiana don't fall far from the tree. You know, there's a lot of interesting activity going on there. Um, you know, they kiss each other and all kind of stuff and, and one of the main leaders of the zest fest would be kevin gates so if i'm finessed uh two times i would stay far away from him my brother don't put him on your instagram live anymore and last i'm gonna say shout out to gonna wanna probably one of the biggest comebacks in hip-hop history the whole industry black bottom they were not messing with them people picking and choosing sides you know this is just like high school everybody's on young thug side they saying he a snitch i definitely don't agree with how certain things that he said in that courtroom but it was an alfred plea so i'll just leave that up to y'all to figure out if that's snitching or not because alfred pleas can't be used in court but congrats to gunna because he had the most streamed song in the music industry which was fuck you mean so people were counting them out and look at it now man people are still out down bad uh, I still particularly think right now that it looks like Lil Baby is actually having one of the biggest fall offs of the year. And I think that's because he's choosing not to work with Gunna. I think that if he actually was working with Gunna, we're realizing now it seems like maybe Gunna and Thug were kind of, you know, helping him out, you know, putting him in the right spaces and, you know, the right mental spaces to make good music. That could be it. That's just kind of my, my guess. But shout out to Gunna. I think Gunna is actually doing his thing. I'm starting to see more rappers open openly mess with him i'm seeing chris brown at his show in dubai i'm seeing offset rocking with him people are starting to mess with gunner now all it takes is one before everybody starts messing with you and it just goes to show man because he ain't done an interview he ain't done nothing. at the end of the day talent always wins good music always wins so shout out to gunner and y'all let me know what y'all think about these situations man do y'all think that kevin gates is a little zesty do we think that gunner is gonna put up more numbers more people gonna keep messing with him and what's cardi being all set was this all a ploy to stay in the headlines and distract y'all from Nicki Minaj's album and if it was it didn't work Nicki Minaj 220,000 first week shout out to her and we out baby Boom. it's him